managing plugins here in Studio One. So we have our browser open. If you don't, go ahead and open up your browser. And up here across the top, we have instruments and effects. So things like pianos, synthesizers, stuff like that will be over in the instruments tab. And then effects, things like guitar amps, EQs, compressors, and things like that will be here in the effects tab. And underneath that, we have a sort by option. So we can go to flat, and that's going to show us all of our different effects or all of our different instruments. Put that on flat as well. Then we have by folder, which we're gonna get to here in a minute. Then we have by vendor. So for example, uh, Audio Assault or Isotope, all by vendor. This is sort of like the manufacturer option that we have in Pro Tools. And then we have type. So that's gonna show us our Personas instruments or Personas effects in this case. And then because I'm on Windows, I'll have VST2 and VST3. Again, the same thing for our instruments up here as well. We also have effects chains, which I've already gone into in a different video. We have mix effects, we have our favorites, and of course our recent effects that we have used. Now, if you want to add something to your favorites, a few different ways we could do that. We could just right click and say favorite, and it will be up here now in my favorite list. We can also click this wrench icon and then you'll see all of our effects here with these dots next to it. And then a star, this dot will show or hide the effect. So if I don't wanna see inside the, let's say the VST2 version, I can hide that right here. And if I want to favorite something, I can just click the star. And that of course will be in my favorites up here. So let me turn the wrench off. You also have an option to search, just turn it on right there on the magnifying glass icon, and then type in whatever you want. So maybe an angle amp or something like that. So let's get back here now to our folder view. In folder view, you can do a lot of customizations uh, to this uh, view here. So for example, if I want my folder view to just be essentially what a category view would be in Pro Tools, I can actually delete these folders here, like the Accusonis, the, the artifacts, and things like that. And to remove a folder, just right click it and delete the folder. And that will remove it. Now we still have access to those plugins. If I come here to Vendor, we will still have my Accusonis plugins up here, okay? Or by type, and of course, head to them uh, in there as well. So back here to Folder View, if I just wanna leave things like Analysis, and delay, distortion, dynamic, and things like that to have more of a category view, I can get rid of all of these folders here. So I'll just click and I'll control click for everything else I want to remove. And that's all we want to remove. So I'll just press delete and that will get rid of these folders. Okay. Yes, remove all of these folders here. And there we go. So now we have just analysis, delay, you know, dynamics and things like that. Now we also have sort of a flat list of some of our plugins in here as well that might not be categorized. And if I want to put something in a, a category here or in a folder, we can do that just by clicking and dragging. So if I want say this EQ here in my EQ folder, I can just grab it and throw it right into the EQ folder. And now I have it in this folder but we can also make custom folders here in our folder view where we can't do that in you know, the vendor view. I can't even you know, right click and delete anything here in the vendor view because of course this is, uh, this is categorized by our vendors. But over here in folder, we're free to do basically whatever we want. So if I come here to distortion and maybe something in here is tagged wrong and it's not actually distortion, I can move it to any folder that I want. So if I wanted to move Amplitude, to my delay folder, which doesn't make any sense, but I could still grab it and drop it into the delay folder, and then there it is, okay? I can, of course, move it back to my distortion folder, grab it, and then try to drag it down here, but there's an easier way if you can't grab things, and then you'll scroll down your list. So let's head over here to view, and go to our plugin manager, and this way, we'll be able to see all of our plugins in this flat list. Now over here, you can of course filter things by name. You can turn off the native or the rewire or the VST2 or VST3 uh, versions of your plugins. If you want, of course, search by vendor there as well. And here is your blacklist. Also in here, we can show and hide plugins 
uh, that you may or may not uh, want to see. And maybe I don't want to see this diesel. I can hide this over here as well. Just turn that off. And that plugin will be hidden from our list. That's the same thing as coming over here and right clicking and choosing hide, or of course, using our wrench here and just uh, hiding it directly uh, over here as well. Let me come back here to folders now. So we can set up our own folders as well. We don't just have to have sort of these uh, category folders. So if you want a folder for just say drum plugins or something, maybe drum instruments, let's come over here to instruments because this is the uh, same thing. So we're in folder view right now. If I want something just for drums, okay, I can right click and say new folder. I'll call this drums. Now I have my new folder right here and I can freely drag in whatever uh, plugins I want. So uh, the gent hugger there and say drumminator you can drag those right into drums and then there they are forest i could also look over here in my list so maybe i want say um battery four so i just search for battery i can grab it right here instead of having to come to this list which it might be you know way out of the way i can just drag it right from here and put it in my drums okay then you have your own custom folders there again same thing for our effects view here as well. Maybe I want a folder, I can right click, say new folder, a folder just for things you use in metal or something, you know, metal. And then you could search for maybe, uh, say angle amps or something. Again, instead of coming in here and trying to find my angles, which are probably in our distortion folder. So instead of coming in here and trying to grab them and then move them you know, slowly scrolling into that list. Instead, much quicker, just have your plugin manager open. Again, that's view plugin manager, and then come back to my metal folder right here. I can grab these here, control click to grab both and just throw those into my metal folder. I can of course have, uh, you know, a diesel in there as well. Now I can't move this drums plugin because it's an instrument and we're in the effects. So I can't drop that here but you could have your own folder over here and call it, you know, metal drums or something like that uh, as well. Okay, so that is how you can organize your plugins here in Studio One. And one more thing that you can do, I can actually create a folder within a folder. So uh, let me right click here and we'll just say new folder and let's call this uh, amps or something like that. So because we had metal selected first, whenever we went to make our new folder, now I'll have this subdirectory in here so I can grab these amps and put those into the amps folder. And then maybe I'll select that again and go to new folder and call this uh, vocals. Maybe there's some vocal chain that you're always using uh, for your uh, for your metal vocals. So then I can search for whatever I want, maybe Nectar 3 or something like that. Throw that in there. And then you can have things categorized here in your folders view for your plugins here. Have them categorized however, uh, however, you want. Okay, so that is organizing your plugins here in Studio One. Again, you have lots of options of creating your own folders, deleting folders. So if I don't want this metal folder, I'll just hit delete, get rid of it. We still have all of those plugins. We didn't delete any plugins. We still have them. Okay, and you can move things around to any folder you want, create any kind of folder that you want, hide plugins that you don't want to see. And of course, search by vendor, search by type, search by flat. And of course, your folders, again, same thing for instruments. And lastly, one more time, come up here to view and plugin manager, and you can quickly grab these plugins and throw them into any folder that you want and avoid all of that uh, scrolling uh, that you might have to do if your plugins are way down in this list. All right, so that is organizing your plugins and finding your plugins here in Studio One.